This is Aladino Rovegno. Hi. Aladino is a boat builder. I became a boat builder four years ago. Boat building encapsulates within it many aspects of life that I enjoy. It is trade, it is craft, it is design. With boat building, you have to use your heart and your hands simultaneously. Boat building is a slow craft. When you begin building or restoring a boat, you're in it for the long term. And in this video, I wanted to talk with Aladino about the biggest project he's taken on yet, a personal project which took him four years of dedication, love, sweat, tears, frustration, and ultimately joy. I bought my sailboat, Magic Carpet, four years ago. When I bought her, she was a total shipwreck. She had fallen 20 feet off a crane and insurance rode her off. The entire back section of the boat had blown off. Rudder and keel were crushed. There was a huge crack on the side and she was destined to go to the junkyard. But I could see that she was way too beautiful to accept such a fate. So I bought her, named her Magic Carpet, and spent the next four years restoring her. She was an interesting project since most of the lines were there and I just had to fill in the blanks with my own vision. And I think shaping the stern was the most difficult part since I wanted it to be perfect. Every curve had to be symmetrical and once the hole is shiny with the fresh paint you see every imperfection. So I kept sanding and then checking the surface with one eye closed and then sanding again for weeks on end. But reshaping the stern was not the only big project that Aladino had to undertake in order to see magic carpet floating again. I made changes to the interior design. I rebuilt entire sections of the boat. I replaced or repaired all the wood which had broken from the I impact. I spliced, sewed and checked all the halliards. I strengthened parts of the boat that I saw as weak points. I checked and replaced all of the rigging. I designed and built a brand new electrical system. I revarnished and painted every single surface. I had the strong feeling that this was becoming my masterpiece, so I wanted to feel proud. What struck me about watching Aladino at work is what a demanding craft boat building is. Realizing your vision involves weeks of sanding, drilling, hammering, sawing. It is not just artistic inspiration, it is also sweat and dedication. You have to have passion to endure the fiberglass dust that itches at your skin, the sweat that builds up under your respirator, the ache in your shoulders after holding a heavy sander above your head for six hours. But as Aladino told me about Magic Carpet, I could see the passion in his eyes. Now Magic Carpet is finished. I spent last summer sailing in the Mediterranean with her. I traveled from the coast of France to Sardinia to Menorca to Barcelona and then back to France. I love sailing. That's why I decided to become a boat builder. I have so much respect for the majesty and grace of the sport. You can go around the entire world without burning any fossil fuels, without having to listen to an engine. Boats are created to fit in with what the world has given us. Wind and water. That's all I need. Aladino will continue to sail, build boats and see the world. He'll go slowly, using wind rather than jet fuel, hand tools rather than production lines. And as Aladino uses his skills to move him across oceans, I will be there too, because last summer I decided to marry him. <laughs>